Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you a common scenario when you click on a link or a button in a SharePoint list and then you set a date value in a date column and this trigger probably a Power Automate flow. In a few steps I show you how you can add a few lines of JSON to render a button in a date column and this after clicking on the button will set the current daytime when the user click on the button. So let me show you how you can achieve this goal in a few clicks and steps. And here I am in Teams, I have a list that I just created, I used the template expense tracker. So I had some entry here and as you can see I have catering for onboarding, laptops, health insurance, office cleanings and I have some amount. Now this template, this list is not enough. I would like to have an extra column with shows paid on. So I'm able to click on a link on the button and after that I click it I will see when a specific element of this list is paid on. So now I'm going to create a new column and I'm going to set daytime. Let's tap on next and now I'm going to specify the name of this column which is paid on. All right, let's keep it date and time, include time, no. I can set friendly format if I want but I'm going to keep it as is. Let's click on save and now I have a new column called paid on. Now here I'm going to use list column formatting to format properly this column. So I'm going to go over column settings and then format this column. Here at the very bottom I'm going to select advanced mode and now here I'm going to paste my JSON. All right, I pasted my JSON. I'm going to add this JSON in the description of this video, so feel free to reuse it. Now, in this JSON, what I will specify is, of course, the paid on, the name, which will be a normal span as a HTML element in a div, and will display the display value of this column. Down below, I'm going to render this, the content of this thing as a button and this will give me the chance to set the value. When I click on the button I'm going to set the value and this value will be the now the time where I'm going to click on the button. So I'm going to get the year, I'm going to get the month and then I'm going to get of course uh, even the the rest of this of this date. All right, down below we can see that the button will display this text Mark has paid. All right, now my JSON is good to go. I can click on save and I have already now the button available with the link. So let's say that this thing catering for onboarding it's already paid. Now I can click on this button and now the magic will happen. I can see now today the date, the right date. I have this uh, as a regional settings for my time. I have USA, so that's the reason why I see month, day and year, but you can change this. Now I can set another one, health insurance, for example, I can just click here and now I can see the date. You can display the time if you want, but this is an easy way just to trigger your process uh, Power Automate flow, for example, you can trigger uh, an approval workflow, whatever you want. But in uh, without writing any kind of code, you are able to add a link with a button and then you can set a value, the date value on a column. All right, we have seen in this video how to create a button or link in a SharePoint list and how to set the value in a date column using list column formatting in the SharePoint list. All right, I hope to see you next time and if you like this video, please like, add a comment down below if you want to see more video like this one in the future. I hope to see you next time. Bye.